Today I want to talk about the grace of God and hopefully a new perspective on how it applies in our lives today. Now you may be thinking that grace could never be wasted, or grace is for all and it doesn't cost anything, but what I'd like to do is take a closer look at the word grace. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul writes to the Corinthians to remind them that it is by the name of Christ by which we are saved, and recognizing God's grace and, and how powerful the resurrected life truly is. Chapter 15, verse 10 says, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. The word grace comes from the Greek root charis, which means favors, even on the ill-deserving, to be pardoned of their offenses and accept salvation. There are two main points Paul is making with this one extremely powerful verse. The first is, as he points out in the previous verses, he is the least of the disciples. That Jesus came to him when he was not mature and he was not ready, but the grace of God was still placed upon his life. The other disciples, they followed him because they were ready. They dropped their nets and they followed Christ. Paul was blinded because he was persecuting Christians. But that didn't matter. The grace of God was still given to him. The second point that he's trying to make is that this grace was given not in vain. That he worked harder than the other disciples. Not to earn grace because that's impossible. You can never repay back the cost of grace. But instead he wanted to honor its value. Now, grace was paid for by the Son of God. It's irreplaceable to us. But sometimes we do not live a life that is worthy of grace. Hebrews 10.29 says, How much more severely do you think that someone deserves to be punished, who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sanctified them, and who has insulted the Spirit of grace? The word insulted in the Greek depicts a contempt through words or actions, a humiliating and spoiling insult. Now our lives are not our own. Paul states that he labors to honor that grace was not wasted in his life. How often do we take the priceless gift of grace and treat it like a get out of jail free card? Grace is meant to be a safety net, not a trampoline. We should be honoring this gift and laboring to show the power of a resurrected life. Now, of course, this all starts with us, right? 2 Corinthians tells us we are living epistles read of all men. There are people reading your life right now. So will you honor or insult the grace that has been given to you? The choice is yours.